Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my favorite go-to recipes. It is an apricot chicken recipe. There are like five ingredients that you need. It's super simple. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys kind of what I pair it with and how I feed it as a meal. It's from the Keeping Up cookbook. And if you guys haven't heard about this cookbook, I am obsessed with it. Anyway, let's get started. My kids are being kind of loud, so we're going to kind of make this fast. But I like to make this recipe when I'm cooking for friends, if they have had a baby, if they're sick. It's super simple, super easy. So stay tuned and keep watching if you wanna see how to make it. Okay, I am doubling this recipe, so I'm using double what you need. But you need four chicken breasts, and I'm using these three really big ones. And then I'm gonna be using spicy brown mustard. The recipe only calls for one tablespoon, but since I'm doubling it, I'm gonna be using two. And I didn't have a ton left, so I'm also using honey mustard, and it worked just fine. You also need some soy sauce. I prefer the, lo the light soy sauce, sorry, I can't speak. And you need three tablespoons of that if you're doubling it. And then you need one cup of apricot preserves if you're gonna be doubling it as well. And last but not least, this is the last ingredient. You just need some butter. So if you're doubling it, you need two tablespoons. First things first, you need to heat your oven because you're going to bake the chicken before you get everything started. So heat your oven to 400 degrees. Then you will simply need to take some canola oil or any kind of oil and spray it on a nine by 13 glass pan, just like this one. Then I took the chicken breasts and I cut them into multiple pieces so there weren't just uh, four of them, but then I just put them inside of the pan and put some salt and pepper and you can see Max peeking over He wanted to know what was for dinner Then you just pop that in the oven for about 10 minutes You just want to cook it just a little bit before we put the sauce on now to the sauce So that is the apricot preserves or apricot jam and I already have it there in a little saucepan And then I'm gonna be adding the light soy sauce so you want to get this boiling and get it hot and then you add the rest of the ingredients. So I added the spicy mustard right here and it was not coming out of the container because there was barely any left. And then I just ended up using the rest of the honey mustard. So it honestly tasted great without the actual mustard. So that worked. I then took the two tablespoons of butter and I know this looks kind of like a weird concoction but you guys, the flavor is insane. There is so much flavor just with these little ingredients. You can also add almonds at the end if you would like but I like it without the almonds personally. So you're gonna melt this and bring it to a boil. After that sauce is done and it has completely melted, you pour it over the chicken that has been cooking for about 10 minutes and you pour the delicious sauce all over and we are going to then pop it back into the oven. So now that the sauce is on it, you're gonna pop it back into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken has been completely cooked on the inside. And once it's completely cooked, you bring it out and look at the sauce like boiling. It tastes so insane, but your house will also smell really delicious. The scent of the soy sauce and it's like the apricot, it just meshes really well. So now I'm gonna share with you guys what I like to pair it with. As a side dish, I love to serve it with the rice aroni chicken flavor. I don't know why I love rice aroni so much, but this flavor is perfect for the apricot chicken. I also like to add some broccoli, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do. It's a super simple recipe. I just take some broccoli and I cut it up and then put it on a pan like this. I then like to add some olive oil and then salt and pepper and then I mix it all around with my hands and then, and then just pop it in the oven, same temperature, 400 degrees for about seven minutes. I like to cook it until some of it starts to blacken because it adds a really yummy taste, almost like a popcorn taste. My kids even like this stuff. So here's the final meal. It tastes so great with the chicken rice aroni, the roasted broccoli, and of course, the apricot chicken. It's always a hit when I make it for my family or my friends, everybody eats it all up. Super simple, only a few ingredients. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want me to do more recipe videos, let me know down below in the comments. Once again, I did not make up this recipe, but I wanted to share with you guys because I've been making it for years and I love the Keeping Up cookbook. So I will have that link down below for you guys as well. Hope you guys have a great day, bye.